And we're back, hello. Welcome to the Hypertrophy Odyssey, chapter 39. It is Friday, AKA Shotgun Dropkick Day. I wanna say Shotgun Dropkick Saturday, but that does sound like a wrestling event thing. But anyways, we are on the way to the gym. Should be relatively quick and easy today. Just in and out, just a few things here and there, and boom, we're back home. Gotta come home to, you know, do my favorite thing, editing. I actually gotta write today, which is fun, but that is what it is is feeling pretty good elbows on both arms feel sore a little bit but that doesn't really matter and it's just a, a generally tired looking forward to tomorrow gonna get to sleep in a little bit thankfully today i was uh, having a little bit of a trouble thinking what could i talk about today so i looked through my list of stuff and nothing nothing seemed like it would be very interesting to me but i think i watched a youtube video last night which helped me think of what to talk about today i watched a youtube video last night of a guy who was doing scratch offs and he ended up winning 300k which was interesting one because this is an entire genre of youtube where people just do scratch offs i know about the gambling side of youtube and live streaming i have little to no interest in it i was just curious because i mean you know it's not every day that you see a video that's like three minutes long about a guy who wins 300k and that's one and then two i was like okay what is this entire channel about and yes it's about scratch offs which is it's just fascinating to me personally i my opinion on gambling probably gonna be a whole other episode actually because i don't necessarily hate it i don't necessarily love it but the scratch offs are a whole other thing as well so i don't want to get too into that but while watching that video i thought of man this guy's luck is pretty good and then it got me to think about the term and also luck just in general and I, that is the subject for today luck some people believe it some people don't believe it i'm personally in the belief that i have extremely good luck this is my call to you if you're watching this to believe that you also should have extremely good luck as well because it has been proven genuinely proven i think that i'll put the book right here that if you believe that you have above average luck that you'll end up having above average luck so you'll have just generally things will start to go your way in life which is Sounds ridiculous, but I can believe it for a lot of different reasons. But I think personally, I always tell myself that I have like a above average luck or great luck. Apparently how it works is that mentally, it's like a mental feedback loop. So the better you believe that your luck will be, the more of reality that it'll actually come true if i remember correctly if th that's how it worked or something like that i personally believe that i have good luck do i have great luck i want to say i have great luck but I, I believe i just have good luck i would say that most people should probably err on the side of having better luck than no luck or bad luck i'm not a fan of saying bad luck or something like that or having the negative connotations on things that i can't control mostly because i feel like it is one you're coming from a state of weakness so the world is just gonna keep you down one and two it's like if i say oh man i just can't shake this bad luck it's like you're perpetuating the same idea over and over in your head so then you blame what is ostensibly the world and or the aura that you put out there and that's not necessarily good because then you just kind of make it into a infinite loop there's a term for it there's there's a term for it it's not the pygmalion effect but there's the other version of oh uh, actually is it the pygmalion effect I'm I'm pretty sure because there's two versions of it the pygmalion effect and the other effect where where it's like you get a re what is it because there's two of them there's one where people tell you your ex set something so you believe them so then you uh, so then you it's like you double down on it or you you go up on it either way or it's the internal version of that where you believe you're good at something so then you get what is it and then others tell you and then you get better at it it's like the infinite loop either up or down in both scenarios going either direction because you know you're either going to get you're either going to have positive or negative feedback in this section i'm trying to explain the pygmalion effect where situations where higher expectations lead to improved performance and the other opposite direction golem effect lower expectations lead to worsened performance and then there's the galata effect raising your individual self-efficacy would result in increased performance so it's the internal version of it basically when it comes to luck and stuff i personally always try to tell myself i'm gonna have great luck when i'm gonna go do stuff i 
personally, the machine is gonna be empty. I already feel it, you know what I mean? Like things like that at the gym or like, you know, I'm gonna hit some PRs today, stuff like that. My knee is gonna feel great today. I feel like if you mentally have those processes where you're in the positive versus the negative, it'll help you out generally. But also when it comes to things like luck, you're kind of giving yourself that little bit of a 1% chance of something crazy good happening to you. You know, obviously there's the 1% that cr something crazy bad happens to you. But if you believe that it won't happen, I have a feeling that you have more of a chance of it not happening, you know, but you have more of a chance of it happening in the good way if you just believe it will be good. There's probably some saying that I can't think of right now that would be like, the more good you give out, the more good you get in or something like that. I don't know exactly, but I like the idea of luck. I'm a big proponent of luck. I don't necessarily think everybody has it. That's the other thing too. There's a combination of some people that just don't have it and bad luck. But if you don't know or you don't really care, I would say err on the side of having good luck because then maybe you'll end up having these things where, oh, hey, my luck has turned into something a little bit better just because, you know, what is this per? Oh my, you stop in the middle of the road and put on your emergency lights. There's a little sign right there that you can just pass by, you fucking cunt and then if you try but anyways speaking about that there you go there was a little bit of not so great luck but at the same time i just went around them so there was nobody on the other side so who cares ended up being a zero sum game so no harm no foul so like i said if you ever are thinking about luck obviously i feel like it's one of those things where it's like you can't go like yeah i'm gonna be lucky and win the lottery like yeah okay like that's not how it works but i feel like if it's like a, a slight chance of something going well for you and it goes well then there you go i feel like like you 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 just generally should have that positive mindset of I have good luck so it'll work but that's just me tell me what you think about luck and I will see you on the inside and we'll talk more about it all right so we kick off this Friday with a hack squat went up in weight finally have the 45 and 25 on here didn't go to the end range so gonna do this weight for a little bit felt great though so to get back to the subject matter at hand, we're talking about, I wanted to discuss something that I didn't really get into while in the car, either car segment, which is luck versus skill. And I think this is something to be understood. I think that there are some things that are skills that are just given to us uh, genetically or you just develop naturally. There are certain things like that. I wouldn't say that there's necessarily luck involved with something like that, but you gotta be careful about attributing things like that to luck because then you can undermine your own skill and then the other way around too as well where you can give your attributes of your own skills to luck really when in reality it's a combination of the two with some exceptions obviously But mostly, the skill is the thing that you want to develop slash you can develop depending on what it is. But there are sometimes where there are skills that you either don't want to develop or you don't have necessarily a use for, per se. One of my skills that I kind of can do randomly is I can whistle very well, but at the same time, I'm not doing anything crazy with it. But at the same time, I've ever needed to use it in a crazy situation, so it's whatever. But that is just an example of something that is a skill, and I don't contribute that to luck at all or anything like that but I, have, I haven't needed it to be in a lucky situation where it's like who's the best whistler you know what i mean or something like that there are people out there that of course obviously there's some things that are just you know god-given talent you know and that is somewhat luck but at the same time you're born with it so there's not really much you can really do about it per se and some people there will be people who are given the skill to do something but won't develop it or do anything with it so the luck never comes in for it to become something else or something greater for them. They're the super genius people who end up becoming nothing or just doing nothing with it because they don't really care to use their genius with a little bit of luck sprinkled in, you know? But th that's just on them, obviously. There are also those who go to the gym and do little to nothing, really, but have amazing genetics, so they look like crazy good. So it really is just luck for them. Luck in its entirety, I, I said this before, but I want to reiterate that it is literally just like 1% of like, if you had, what is it, stat sheet for your life, it's like 1% of what you have of like all the other stats, you know, strength, agility, endurance, all that other stuff. It's like 1% of it, but that 1% can make or break you in a lot of different areas and such where you could 
that 1% could be the difference between you get landing the job or you becoming homeless. So like it, it is very, very minor, but I feel like it's one of those things where you want to think that you have the better luck of it. So then that way the 1% can, when it comes in and it kicks in well, it kicks in in your favor. Now also I wanted to say this because this is also in the same wheelhouse per se, not necessarily exactly the same, but superstition is not the equivalent of luck because I feel like superstition is its own thing and I don't want to talk about superstition too much in this episode because that's a later date episode. I will make an entire episode about superstition because superstition I feel like is one of those things that it's not necessarily luck, but more so a like. It's almost like a tradition based within fear, which is weird, but I don't want to get too into that. But it's not luck because luck is something that is happenstance, you know, it just happens to happen. I do believe in certain things being lucky items. I don't necessarily have any particularly lucky items. I used to when I was a kid, but I do believe there are like people who have like a lucky shirt or a lucky tie or a lucky underwear or a lucky quarter, things like that. I do believe in stuff like that. Actually thinking about it now, I do have, I keep a $2 bill in my wallet as a luck thing, but also you never know when a $2 bill is needed. But regardless, I think that's a little different than superstition because you know, there are those super superstitious people that will use like the same undergarments for every single like performance that they do or like football players using the same jock strap for decades because they always wear it and it always gives them good luck according to them. You know, there are things like that which I, it can cross the realm of superstition, but I think there is something to be said about holding a certain item or a certain thing, like let's say a lucky shirt, will give you that extra little bit of confidence that will make that 1% go in your favor and that's where it comes in handy. But I don't necessarily have something like that, but if you do, if you have like a lucky a shirt or a pair of socks or shoes or something like that, let me know in the comments because I'd actually love to hear about that. But I don't necessarily have anything like that, but I don't discredit any Anybody that has something like that because I feel like it is a feeling based thing. It's kind of like with clothing in general where you look good, you feel good, you know, that that entire thing. So with a lucky item, it just gives you that extra sense of doing well with whatever you whatever task that you want to do. And that's why you have it on or with you at the time. So when it comes to luck, one of the stranger things I do personally, which I don't necessarily say everybody should do, but I would recommend it just because why not? I always tell my myself personally that I have above average luck. You know, I just say my name has above average luck and for some reason that always seems to work out and I think that it's a random thing but I always feel like that once I feel it, I feel it. You know, it's like a feeling type thing. And a lot of it probably has to do with feelings. Everything that I've even talked about are feelings minus skill and all that other stuff. But when it comes to luck, it really is just, you feel it, you know? Even in the Harry Potter movie, when he took the lucky potion, he just felt like like doing X, Y, or Z and boom. I was gonna do an Irish accent and say, oh, the luck of the Irish. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Islands. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. And we're back! We're back. There was a lot of time that you did not see this recording, but we're back. Welcome to the workout debriefing. Exercises not filmed, none. Exercises skipped, pull-up. Pull-ups were skipped because the pull-up bar that I like to use, or the handles I should say, that I like to use that are attached to two cable towers were being used. All four cable stations were being used at the time, so I could not use them myself. I couldn't use the pull-up bar that was in the middle myself, which was annoying, but also so a good transition to talk about. I could have said it was bad luck, but realistically, I can't blame that on luck because luck had nothing to do with it. I could have stayed afterwards and waited or worked my way in, but pull-ups were the last thing I needed to do and somewhat, you know what? I'm tired. I want to go home. So, you know, I just said, fuck them. And although that's not necessarily a good habit and that is all on me, uh, there are people out there that will blame it on the bad luck and then say it that reason and 
not because of their own reasons, which is something that you need to be careful when it comes to luck, whether it's good luck, bad luck, or whatever. You cannot use it as a scapegoat for whatever fortunes or misfortunes that happen in your life. With that being said, though, it is something where if you have it in a more positive light, more positive things will happen to you. I'm personal belief that if you have more negative light towards it, more negative things will happen to you, generally speaking, of course. But it's also whatever you give attention to, you'll see more often than not. So there's something to be said about paying more attention to the good stuff and then the bad stuff. Like I had this slight discussion on birthdays. I brought it up a little bit where you people happen to notice that bad stuff happens around their birthday. Maybe bad stuff is always happening, but because their birthday is something memorable, that's where the association comes in. Not necessarily that bad things happen only on their birthday, but usually because the birthday is a special day, there you go. So maybe luck is something, one of those things where they think about luck every time that something good or bad happens. I would say err on the side of good, because then that way it's been, well, one, scientifically proven if you believe that stuff, but it to be good. But also, why wouldn't you want to be on the, on the good side of it? Damn, man, I just wish I had bad luck. Like, who the fuck would say that? You know, it's like a, it's a dumbass statement just as I have too much money, you know? Another dumbass statement that no one says. But anyways, but like I was saying, luck is something that is a one percent but it might that one percent might be you you know what i mean you never you never know and although i can't blame it on bad luck shout out bayside i would say that you got to be careful about blaming it on other things and i guess where that's where luck and other like outside forces you got to be careful about you know it's always the fault of something else you know luck is one of those things i personally believe in luck i'm a big fan of luck i think i have above average luck when it comes to things in general i don't have extreme luck you know there are some people who have like extreme luck you know there are those individuals that you know that are just like a one in a billion case scenario there's a video of the guy who ended up i think it was like there was a guy in australia that was i believe pres what is it dead for a little bit and then all of a sudden he was revived and then he went to go do a scratch off and won a car and then after the news picked up his story and did a recreation of it and then when he did that he ended up getting 200k from that scratch off so it is something where you have certain people that just have extreme luck it just happens you know it's a happenstance thing you never know what it is and you don't know if you're gonna be that person but I'd rather be on the side of I'd have pretty good luck you know what I mean there's like I said it's that one percent that will let you make things fit like a glove a little bit nicer you know things like that and then there are other people like that guy who just otherworldly type of luck there's like a higher deity looking out for him whatever that is you know or something that is extra something happened you know that is a conversation for a different day but for now thank you very much for watching i appreciate it i will see you on the next one please leave a like comment and subscribe please tell let me know what you think about luck and generally what are your opinions on luck and stuff like that but anyways thank you very much for watching i appreciate it i will see you on the next one peace